Hello, hello everyone. Oh, yeah, okay, it's all working. Good, good. I thought the recording was uh, taking its moment to start up there, but it's all good. So, I've got another um, tutorial here, as you might have guessed by the title. Uh, we had another incredibly, incredibly good uh, Neolithic era. You can see I've got 230 influence, two outposts set up, and uh, it's only turn 13. Now, with a start this good, I'd probably normally take the Olmex. <laughs> um, mind you, there's not as much territory to expand it as per the previous one. We we're on sort of a peninsula this time. Uh, not many Luxes around, so not as good a start for, say, like the Nubians. But we're on a peninsula, and our coastal tiles are really, really nice. Very, very nice coastal tiles, and there is something we can use all of this influence for. Now. That, if you guys hadn't guessed, would be the Phoenicians. Uh, however, whilst I would love to show off the Phoenicians, uh, we only actually have two territories. So you might think, oh, we're coastal, so obviously Phoenicians would be great here. Not exactly. Um, we have this territory, which has all this coast here. We have this territory, which has all this coast here. And that's it. There isn't any more. Now, because we're late to aging up, I don't want to take a culture like the Assyrians, for example. I think the Assyrians are best if you pick them up very, very early. Um, I don't want to pick the Zhuo. We have some good mountains. But not like any exceptional ones. And ideally, want like a three-tile mountain to start off with with the Zhuo. Like, if I could get down here. Like, if I put an uh, outpost here and put a... Whoa, Confucian Academy there. That would be really good, but uh, or like over here and then get this hooked up, these two tiles hooked up. Like that would work, right? Uh, or even here. But it's not like ideal uh, uh, where we actually started. But we do have two cities. I've got a forward city and I've got a, a city in the back here. This is going to take a few turns to set up. That's four turns to set up, but this one will be done. Um, I think in this particular case, we're going to show off... Uh, I don't really want to show off the uh, Hittites, because I don't see copper, right? There's copper there, but there's not close copper. You want to be able to get that copper and stuff hooked up quickly. We're actually going to go with Babylon. Now, when do I think you should pick Babylon? Well, Babylon's a culture I think you can actually pick at any time on Humankind Difficulty, because Babylon is just generally very, very good. Very, very good. Oh, this isn't good. That's a lot of tribes. That's a lot of tribes there. There's four tribes trying to break out. Now, a, war a more warlike culture would also be acceptable in this situation, because we are surrounded by a lot of AI. Um, but we're going to go Babylon, because I think it would be cool to show off Babylon with a strong, with a very strong start like this. I think showing off Babylon with a strong start is... Uh, is pretty oh people are gonna people are gonna be oh boy this is gonna get out of control hopefully hopefully i can show off what babylon looks like when they start getting out of control uh first is first things first let's get our city set up there you go the city of babylon uh we've got some decent spots to put out our astrologers i can put an astrologers here and then a farmer's court here it's not too bad it's not like fantastic i can also put the astrologers here and then put the farmer's court there um this gets me a little bit closer to the mountains, which is nice, but uh, if I put it here, I can get Maker's Quarters out this way, which I think is uh, is more beneficial. Uh, of course, we're going to start with our potters, and we're going to go Expert Policy. We're going to put, um, we will put Science first, but my first couple of people I will be putting on Industry, because uh, we want to get that potters out. Now, as far as claiming more territory goes, we do want to claim more territory uh, relatively quickly. Uh, this is a very nice spot. Got a decent amount of industry. Can get a nice um Yeah, decent amount of industry. Nice amount of food to get from that later on. Uh, on this tile here, I think the best spot is right here along the river. Get a lot of these uh, dual industry food tiles. Uh, but I especially get these two pretty nice ones here. 
and then I can throw down a maker's core there to get that mountain and those two hooked up with production and then put like the astrologer's house there uh, and I can put further farmers there or here either way works um, but I think that'll be a pretty good spot uh, over here I want to get an outpost set up right here because this is an incredible uh, incredibly good spot for industry and we're gonna get that set up too so we're gonna get lots of outposts set up don't worry we'll have plenty of influence to get cursor um, turned into a city as well again I settled that a little bit on the late side um, but it'll work out just fine uh, I don't like the Mycenaeans having an outpost there I don't like this at all uh, but I don't want to attack those scouts there because that wouldn't go very well so um, we're going to go with uh, Babylon again. We have an agrarian style or a food based uh, emblematic district, so I think shamanism is best for that. And we're going to be working with two cities and getting them hooked up early. I think these guys are probably going to get uh, blocked in, so we might want to start a war with them early on. So we might give us some early, uh, early wars. Babylon's great because they can kind of do anything, um, they're not forced into a particular place. Now, I want to get fishing early because there's some really good harbours. There's a good harbour I can set up early on. Uh, and then we want to go for bronze working organised warfare. I think we're going to go for our war techs early, especially since Babylon has the unique advantage of being able to research from the next era. Or I say unique. All, all science cultures can do it, but let's go trade luxes with the Harapans. They won't have any uh, immediately, but I still want to get that set up. Got a couple of scouts over here. Let's just pop you off, send you up that way. We'll go throw you on auto explore. Now you can burn that sanctuary down. Oh yeah, let's not put you on auto explore. You can go and explore the rest of this coastline up here. See what you can see. Uh, you two are going to block this tribe. So they can't attack us because there's a cliff, but we can block their movement, so it still counts. Okay, that's turn one. So before I hook up this tile, I want to build a harbour. So we're going to hold off on hooking that up for a little while. In the meantime, I can get this uh, city hooked up. There's 40 to build this outpost, but we can actually pick up our civics now. So we're going to get the create outpost cost, influence on the main plaza, and then that's already paid itself off, making that a cheap outpost to build. Uh, here the Mycenaeans want to fight. Hey! <laughs> oh boy, I better scare some of you guys there. It is harvesting season. There you go. There's my follow alert kicking off whilst I'm doing the recording. Fun times. Right, I'm going to force them onto the river here. I have the high ground to attack them from. Um... I think these guys should survive one more attack. Yeah, they do. Okay, good. And I'm just going to jam them in there. One for one is is fine for me, because this uh, scout can now come over here. Uh, you guys can link up, and we can burn this outpost down and take that for ourselves. There's no reason for us not to play a little bit aggressively. As I said, Babylon's nice, because they you can play them very... Uh, you can play them kind of how you like, really. Um, you can play warfare with them. You can play expansion. They're very versatile, so I think uh, Babylon's a very good sieve to pick on humankind difficulty because of how versatile they are. Um, they can excel at a variety of different roles depending on how you choose to tech, which is pretty cool. Uh, because you have that luxury of being able to tech uh, stuff from the next era, so you can try to rush out some good military techs, which is what I personally like to do, is uh, rush out some advanced military techs. But it really, again, it's, it's up to you guys. Uh, you know, as I said, the advantage of playing a versatile sieve. So you can do what you want with them. I'm going to disband that scout. We don't make enough food, but it's going to take 16 turns for that, uh, for the city to degrade. So I can have them working industry for now. And we're going to get... So we're going to be a little bit behind on getting this set up. Because I don't have quite enough influence. Unless we find a curiosity, of course, but... Um, not, don't bag on finding curiosities because sometimes you just you just won't find any. Sometimes you just don't find any. All right, let's bring you down. Uh, you guys can carry on exploring there. All right, you guys can probably yeah move that way. 
move you guys over here as well. I'm going to pull back a little bit to make sure I've got more scouts together. Um, you attacked me. I will demand payment for that. And they are going to accept it. Sweet. So they're going to pay us for that. And get the pot's workshop set up. Good, good. Uh, again, we're not going to attach yet. We're going to wait until we get this uh, cursor set up. It's only going to take two turns to do that. You're going to chill there for now. I'll just skip your turn so I don't forget about you. Greetings to the new viewer. Now there's some good fortune. A neighbor who may be more interested in commerce. Uh, you guys can go check to see what this, what enemy scouts are up in that direction. You guys come over there. There's a mammoth there I could go fight. I should only need the one scout for it, assuming that I uh, take a good fight. Uh, you guys need to go hide from that stack of troops there. I mean, ideally, I'll, mm, I might found this outpost just to block them, but... I should be able to run them off. 4v4 scout action is not something you really want to get involved in in the ancient era, but I really want this tile, so we may just have to go for it. Okay, let's get Cursor turned into a city. Are we one, oh, we're one industry off. Oh boy. Okay, I'm going to go for this. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, Angry Barbs. Angry Barbs here already. That's not good. We might not get that tile. That's okay, though. Alright, you're going to have to retreat there. Uh, I'm going to... You attacked me. Refuse. Trade. Trade. Okay. Oh, there's the Nubians over there. All right. Trade. Trade. Sweet. Lots of trade going on. Cool. Again, trade costs us nothing to set up. We can push grievances and such later, it's fine. Okay, so this nor these northern uh, locations are being picked up by the Harappans. That's a little bit... Uh, that's a very aggressive settling by the Harappans there, but they do tend to like to do that. Oh, sweet, we got a uh, Curiosity. Excellent. So now we can set up Cursor into a proper city. So this is Sipar. Put it on the expert policy. Put people on industry to start with. Buy the Potter's Workshop. And let's see... Very nice astrologer's house down here. We'll get that uh, done first. Okay. Can't set up a new outpost here just yet. Uh, you guys can go burn that sanctuary down. Grab that curiosity. Let's get you guys over here. They're impressive, the Egyptians. It's a fair bet that you'll be embarrassed if you can pay a visit. Okay, Harappans came up to my border. We will attack them. Even if we don't necessarily get, like, a perfect kill on them. Um... Oh, they're actually being very, very aggressive here. So let's rotate you out. Let's put you in there. Put you guys up there. Defend. Right, and they're going to defend as well. Okay, so we're going to kill one runner, and then we'll just back off. It's fine. That's still that's still a good result for us. Uh, you guys can go burn that encampment down. You guys will have to uh, wait for that mammoth to move. We're going to keep following these scouts. And let's go for uh, Solar Cannon. It doesn't really... Okay, C civics are civics. Uh, you can you can do what you like with them. It's fine. Uh, you should be able to beat this mammoth if I do it properly. So we defend once. We defend twice. Yeah, it's down to thirty-two, and then we attack. Pretty bad roll there, actually. Okay, yeah, we're not going to be able to beat it. We got two pretty low rolls, or two min rolls there. That's unfortunate, but whatever. Not the end of the world. Uh, you guys are just exploring, so... Might put you on auto -ex Well, the map is pretty crowded, actually, so we might have to pull them back, because it looks like we're going to get into a lot of uh, fights early on. 
All right, the scouts are attacking me. Um, I don't know if that was a good idea by them, but I have high ground. Now, welcome to a. Uh, they've got across the river as well, so this is really not a good spot for them. Now, of course, on humankind difficulty, their scouts are still very tough, but. Uh, you're going to defend because you are totally surrounded. Right, and then they can back out. Right, you take that attack. You you can back off over there. You come in there. We'll get that kill, and then that will force this guy off the river down onto low ground. I'm surprised he didn't go for the flag, but I mean, be my guest, I suppose. And we should be able to kill them off there. Excellent. Very good stuff. They actually split off one of their scouts to move elsewhere. Um, we're going to grab this tile right there. So they attacked me. We're going to make a demand for gold. Because make demands, guys. Don't let the AI get away with things. Don't give them any rest. Right, over here, we're just going to end that round. Our guys will retreat, but we got a kill, and we retreat back into the, an area we can heal up, so that's fine. Uh, you four are going to go burn down this outpost. Really ruin the Mycenaeans' day. Probably not a better great idea, getting the Mycenaeans to be angry with us straight away, but I'll take it. Alright, you guys are going to probably have to start heading back, because you're a bit too deep into other people's territory. You have constructed a first emblematic fort. Right, let's go throw down that outpost. And the last Burn that. Of this era. Go ahead. Dismount. Looks like we're being attacked by the uh, Mycenaeans again. Okay. We'll take the not so good attacks because I just get the scout killed. There we go. And we are now inside their border. They actually attached both those territories immediately, so we need to get back to our own borders before our troops start dying off. Oh, and these guys are now trapped. Oh, they can't get past there. Okay. That's fine. I'll decide what we're doing with them. Uh, this battle... Okay, we might be able to win this. They're on low ground river. Oh, no they're not. No, they're Harappans. They can double move. Yeah. Harappan movement too strong for me. Demand that they pay for attacking me. They broke their uh, treaty, so they're probably going to go to war with us. The Egyptians demand a territory, I'm going to say no, because we already killed three of their scouts. Uh, you guys just chill for a turn. You guys are going to just heal up. Alright, so we're getting boxed in, but we're the Babylons, uh, Babylonians, and so we can we can work with this. We can work with this. First things first, uh, I want to get Mahasim attached, I can do that next turn. Uh, and I'm going to attach Alia to Sipar as well, so we're going to attach Nerva first, because Nerva can't really get a, um, a dock or anything like that. So we're not too fussed about um, getting a dock up there. Do I want to get the Lumberjack? Yes I do, because I want to get that, that Maker's Quarter there. And then probably another one off from that as well. You guys just need to uh, heal up. We'll take this fight with the neutrals here. It should go okay. Got a warrior and a spearman. Okay, that's fine. We just need to defend and we'll win. Pro probably. Might lose a unit here. No? Okay, we should be okay. Good. Uh, that was a bit lucky. Okay. 
And these guys are going to help just defend this area as well. You guys are just going to heal up. Uh, you guys, you need to heal up as well. And you guys can't get back. Unless I can get, like, open borders. Which I don't think they're going to want to give me. I could set up an outpost. I can actually attach this, or we'll be able to eventually. So you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Set up the outpost. That'll get those guys healed up. And these guys are probably just going to die to the Harappans. That's fine. It is what it is. Sometimes you just have a, a bad time with uh, where the AI choose to expand. We can go for the, the uh, Liberty ideology, as always. Let's buy out that Maker's Quarter. Get, the, get these Maker's Quarters set up early. And I think we're good for industry now, so we can start moving people to science. And we want lots and lots of science. We've got lots of tech to do. We've got tech for the next era to do as well. So, yeah, alright, let's attach Mahasim. These guys are going to disband into Sipar. You guys are going to fight a single Mycenaean troop. It's a bit weird. One scout? Okay, well, if you're feeling lucky, I guess. Alright, this is going to be bad for them. Very nice. Uh, you attacked me. Demand more gold. No grievances against you. Are you willing to... You're trading everything. Refuse the Harappans. That, that scout's gonna die. There's not much I can do about that. Uh, you guys come up here and kill a mammoth. And then just heal up. You guys are doing a little bit of... Ooh. Okay, yeah, you can kill this mammoth. Absolutely. Absolutely. With the high ground, easy, easy peasy. So, a little bit of scouting. A little bit of fighting. Uh, we had a good good Neolithic, so we've got plenty of territory to work with going forward. Which is very helpful. We've got a lot of pops to work with as well. Also very helpful. Uh, let's go put you on science. We don't have much stability. Our stability is a little bit on the lower side. Uh, which is not fantastic. Um, I'll need to... I might put a farmer's there, but I don't know if that's strictly... Now, I'll get food from this tile and work my way down, because I can put, like, farmer's here, farmer's here. And, like, over here as well, or here. Yeah, I can build lots of farmers around there. We'll build our industry over here. That'll, that'll work out fine. Uh, working on fishing. Then I can spend my influence to build a nice harbour. Uh, let's put you guys on auto-explore, since I don't really know what I'm doing with you. Uh, there's Sus. I could go capture that. In fact, I think I will, because there's very little reason not to. Non-aggression with these guys. Sounds great. Let's do that. We don't have to fight everybody, of course. Uh, I do need to fight Egypt, though. You're trespassing. Wow, I lost two scouts auto-resolving. Okay, yeah. Don't auto-resolve, guys. You can auto-resolve against wild animals, that's fine. But don't auto-resolve against other nations. That you'll have a You'll have a bad time with that. You'll have a bad time with that. Alright, harbour, 33 to build a harbour. Uh, over here is good because it will connect that as well. 130 to get that set up. Okay. And we'll build a harbour over there too. Alright, you guys are going to chill there. Oh, there's a, there's a deer you could go hunt. That's also a mammoth. Uh, let's bring you over to maybe fight that mammoth. And we can go take Sus. Why not? Uh, do we get a Lux? Sweet, we've got some pearls. Not super important for me, but... Um, I guess I'd rather have the Astrologers here. Uh, first things first, get the Maker's Quarter done. Get the Potters. Buy that out. Lumberyard. Seems good. Uh, making enough food, but we'll keep you guys to defend. Alright, we've got three cities going. 
good stuff. Very, very happy. Uh, Karaka can actually build a pretty good harbour over there, so that's what we'll do next. You guys are going to protect there. You guys can come back to Babylon, maybe go hunt that deer down. Okay, so Babylon's real key ability is just the ability to generate uh, population and also have population working on science. That's, kind of, that's pretty much all Babylon's got going for it, which doesn't sound very exciting or very powerful. Um, or might not sound powerful at first, or like as impactful as some of the other uh, strategies I've covered in this sort of, uh, in these tutorials. But honestly, that's all Babylon needs. All Babylon needs is a little bit of a boost to science, and they are going to do just fine. So you can you can kind of pick Babylon in any situation. As I said, the versatile, so that's why I, I like them as a as a civ pick. I think yeah, you can you can kind of do what you like with Babylon, and they should they should perform pretty decently uh, under pretty much any circumstance. Let's go shove that over there. And another maker's core there. Seems good. Uh, do I want to disband these guys into sus? Yes, I do. They're making plenty of food, so we can disband those scouts into sus. We've got two extra pops here, now working on science. Uh, after organized warfare, we're going to go straight for standing army, because we're going to see if we've got any iron. If we do, we're going to be very happy about that. After we've finished that, we're going to go calendar, domestication, irrigation, masonry, wheel, writing, Philosophy, get that extra city cap. Hydrology, very useful one. Uh, pick up fortifications. So again, we're this is all classical aerotech, but we can grab it because we're Babylon. We're going to grab rhetoric for the extra influence. Great stuff, great stuff. And you are expected to do tech from the next era as a science civ. It's not like... Ooh, overproductive. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, extra 10 industry in all my seeds. Very happy. Very happy for that. And you guys are just going to just hold the pass there, I suppose. Right. Any any extra industry that we or influence we get, I'm going to use it to start attaching uh, outposts up. Because I need to attach this one to Babylon. I need to attach uh, this to Sipar. So we've got some areas we need to get fixed up. I'll build a harbour down there. Seems good. Actually, can I build it? Yeah, let's build it there. It's on the edge. Uh, no, we don't want to build a harbour in that lake, thanks. Okay, plenty of good harbours so far. Can build another astrologers, but just not yet. Get those makers' quarters and that lumberyard set up. Get some more industry coming in. Uh, now, the reason we want people doing uh, research is because they actually partially like feed themselves. So you want to fill up your research slots ASAP with Babylon, especially if you're rushing for next era tech, which ideally you are because that's what makes Babylon so powerful. Open borders, share maps, sweet. Uh, start buying resources from our neighbors. Let's uh, buy the incense, it'll pay itself off very quickly. We'll grab the dyes as well. We'll try to be really friendly with the Olmecs here. They're not very big, so they're not a threat uh, to us, so we can just try to be friendly. Um don't think... I guess Alia could build a harbour right in the centre there. It's not too bad. Should be able to pull out plenty of food. Seems good. Alright, there's a mammoth. Okay, I'm just going to auto battle that now because they'll just swing at each other and that'll be fine. There's a bear over there, just ignore that. Bear is of no threat. Alright, we're going to explore down here because I think there might be a sanctuary or something over there. Oh, and you guys are dead. Yep, that's to be expected. I'm not trading with these guys, so I can make a demand. Mm, we're going to withdraw demands. Normally, I don't let the AI get away with stuff like that, but I don't actually have, troop don't have any troops on the field and they are putting out a lot of... Um, They are putting out a lot of... Oh, Ebony, grab that. Uh, they're putting out a lot of Scout Cav, which I, and Warriors, which I'll lose against until we get some better troops. Uh, leadership. Uh, sure, I'll take Leadership. Extra City Cap. 
which is going to get our influence back up and we can start attaching things a lot faster spend what gold we can getting uh, districts and stuff set up so par is doing well for food so there's no point me disbanding any scouts yet because uh, it's doing well but it's not it could be doing a lot better Let's see do not want to build any stone rings I don't think any of my cities need a stone ring. You guys might need one, and you're in a good spot to build one as well. Sure, let's work on a uh, stone ring. Let me just take a look at... You've got you've got more Maker's Quarters to build first, and then you can work on it. Babylon's building a Maker's Quarter, can work on it after that. And Sus is also working on it. Right, everybody needs to work on their Maker's Quarters. Get that industry rolling first. Always important to get that industry rolling up first. Uh, everything else is... You just forget everything else. <laughs> Industry first. Did my trade get broken? No? I don't want to buy the copper. Got your ebony, that's all I want. My Sinaeans. I have demands against them, so we can't trade with them anyway. How about these guys? I'm trading with you. Ooh. Alright, you, you don't actually have... Sage is nice. Lead is good because that's science for researcher. Silver is good because that's science or research quarters, which the uh, our um, astrologers' houses count as research quarters. So they will benefit from infrastructure and resources that affect that. Let's start buying up things. Wait, what? Oh, you're yeah, you're blue. Which one's blue? Oh, the mem yeah, we don't want to trade with the Egyptians. Screw the Egyptians. All my homies hate the Egyptians. Let's buy the sage first because it'll be nice and cheap. Uh, get our food rolling as quickly as possible. I can discard uh, one scout here. I think I'll move another scout to go down there. In fact, you know what? Let's get uh, two scouts down there. You could support another pop. Uh, gonna burn out in four turns. Could get that harbour done. Yeah, let's get that harbour done. And then the pop will be fine. And it's good because we've got plenty of people working on science now. Might want people to start working on money rather than industry. Because they're making plenty of... In I need to get that harbour out. So we'll get the harbour out. Maybe put them on uh, industry after that. Or money after that. Uh, Alright, we can attach this now. Uh, you're being attacked by barbs. Alright, there's some angry barbs over here. So we'll have to deal with them. For now though, let's go attach... Muhun. Good stuff, that's attached. We close to getting standing army, cool. Next turn we'll potentially have standing army. Sus lost a bunch of pop. Or am I going mad? Did they not have any pop? I feel like they ran they just lost a bunch of pop. Right, we finished a bunch of techs all at once there as well. Uh we have standing army. Do I have iron? I do have iron, excellent. Get that hooked up, and we can start hooking up our um luxuries as well. Got coffee, I guess you can hook up the gemstones, you can hook up all this stuff, it's very important you get this all hooked up. Uh, well before that. Got new civic, religious rights, uh, that's actually pretty useful because I can cut the industry cost of building. Mm, that's unfortunate. Right, we can age up turn 34, we don't want to do that yet though, we need to get our 2k points. That's what we're aiming for. Okay, uh, you can hold off on that for now. Stone rings can wait. Let's get your luxes and stuff sorted out. In fact, can you just build swordsmen? You can build swordsmen. Nice. Three, four. So the swordsmen take two turns to build, but if I put people on industry, uh, we can build them out way faster. I only need like two people on industry to make sure we build them out quickly. And then they can handle these barbs. So we can get these swordsmen to go over and deal with Memphis. Uh, you know what? Sipar should probably be working on Swordsman as well. Uh, if we get these Maker's Quarters out. If we get these Maker's Quarters out, get some of these Luxes hooked up, that should do the trick. And we actually have enough uh, people following the religion to get an extra uh, age up. Um, we have some good coastal tiles. I mean, boosting the power of the harbors is really, really great. But we also have lots of forest. Forest is like one of our main sources of industry. Um, well, is it? Is it? 
We have lots of mountains, so not necessarily. Not necessarily. Let's go respect the sea's bounties. We'll take um take Taoism or something. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Religious rights. Modify district industry costs. Makes it faster to build. Which is nice. And then we'll spend our gold. Yeah, let's pull you guys north. Uh, Sapar's making plenty of food. Yeah, let's actually start disbanding more of these scouts into Sapar. Because I want more people... More people ready to become swordsmen. One, two, three, four. Uh, make sure we get the... Uh... It's being a nuisance. Make sure we get the Maker's Court first. Babylon's got its first swordsman. They're going to wait there whilst we build some more. Okay. Uh, I'll build three. We'll buy out that one. Put everybody back on science. These guys will be more than enough to deal with any barbs in that uh, in that area. In fact, I can get these uh, scouts disbanded now. And yes, you do want to disband scouts. You want to get those scouts disbanded as quickly as you can, uh, and get them replaced with proper units. Uh, in fact, you know, Sus could probably do with a couple of uh, swordsmen just to clean up all those uh, bears and things. That would be good. Alright, and Sapar is going to work on those soon. You're going to need some more um, luxuries. Have you got any more luxuries to sell? You've got silk that I can't buy. How about you guys? you got any more luxuries? You've got plenty of luxuries. Most I can't buy. I can buy lead though, that's useful. What have we got here? Quartmastered, Fanatical, 50% Faith, yep. Definitely want 50% Faith there. That's going to help spread the religion. So again, yeah, Babylon, just focus on what you like. Uh, I think rushing for, I mean, this is the strat I tend to go for, is rushing standing army pretty early. Because the sooner you can get swordsmen out, look, I have an army of three swordsmen here on turn 37, ready to go. Most people won't have a stack of archers ready on turn 37. Now I'm going to get a couple of swordsmen out. They can go ruin the Egyptians over here. Get a couple of swordsmen, bring them down that way. And now I can just roam around, just kind of like messing people up with swordsmen. Which is oh, great for me. Not good for them, but great for me. Oh, okay, those were the scouts. Let's get rid of that. Disband that scout. Just doing a couple of auto battles because I want to uh, keep things, you know, keep things rolling along fairly swiftly. Non aggression, sure. You want to share maps? Nice. Let's buy the silver. Silver will boost all of our astrologers' houses. And you can see our science story. Very, very nice. 138 science in the ancient era. Uh, mostly from the astrologers' houses and putting people on the science job. It's not so much about um, the actual legacy ability. The legacy ability for Babylon is pretty bad. Two science for research tech. It adds up a little, but not not significantly. It's not a significant bonus at all, really. So I tend to discount it uh, pretty quickly. Alright, those swordsmen will handle the problems of Sus. I'll have to fight this battle myself, because bears are a nuisance. Put that on auto battle, though. Bring you guys down, and you guys are going to chill for a turn. So we're probably going to go capture Memphis and just take it. Um, we'll eventually absorb it. Eventually absorb it. Uh, you guys can move up to the Harappan border, because there's a chance we go to war with them at some point. I mean, I'm trading a few resources with them, and they have got good resources. They have got good resources. Alright, we'll leave the Harappans alone for a bit. Uh, Sus can just finish that second swordsman to act as a proper garrison. And these three, maybe we go for the Mycenaeans instead? I mean, I'm not really trading with them. I'm not really trading with them. Babylon's working on that uh, harbour. Work on the stone rings. Debate and discussion are not the of the uh, we have philosophy now, so I can get another city. So we can actually go up to four cities. But yeah, there you go. Um, we're up to 
almost 2k points. It's a little... Is it slow? Turn 41. We can get our science stars pretty quickly. Honestly, I like to sit in this in the ancient era with Babylon for a while to to farm some score. I feel like they're one of the best cultures to do that with, uh, but just because of the way that they can get you know things like swordsmen and stuff out really really early on in the game. So I do like to farm some score with Babylon rather than just aging up quickly. Of course, you still want to age up relatively quickly, but. Let's make sure we lock in. Oh, wait. Mycenaeans want to attack me? Are you serious? Okay. Now, turn one, the Pro McCoy will will do a pretty hard number on uh, Swordsman. Um, but after turn one, it's okay. And they're going to try and break through to the flag, which is not going to go very well for them because now they're flanked. It wouldn't have mattered where they moved, they would have died anyway, so. Alright, two Pro Macoy dead there. That's good for us, we got a military star. You attacked me, give me more gold. Just keep demanding money from them. We get one more swordsman to join up with this stack. And we'll bring these two over as reinforcements as well. I'll give you a turn or two to heal. We can always go after my keen. We can go after our, like these guys are such a non-threat. We can basically just ignore them. Uh, let's use our influence to attach Alia. You need a little bit more um, stability, but that's okay for now. Babylon's doing okay. Do you need stability? You do need a little bit. I guess I'll go throw down a holy site over there. Make sure you get the astronomy house first. So this is building their astronomy house. Oh, you can also get some luxes hooked up. Let's do that. A uh, garrison. You know what? A garrison over here is actually not a bad idea. That makes that area pretty much impossible to invade. And so does a garrison right there. Get that maker's quarter and end some turns. We right, got hydrology, and once we advance the ancient era, uh, into the classical from ancient, we're gonna have so much bonus. Um, well, let's go with influence, yeah. Extra influence is nice. Now, a lot of people follow our religion, so we're gonna get loads of extra influence from that. But yeah, let's see, you do a little bit of everything, with Babylon. Doing some building, got some troops out ready to go to war. Got our um, agrarian stars, get my expansion star if I took one more province, get merchant star. So yeah, Babylon's just really good as an all-round civ. Getting techs up early is always very relevant. Um, but it's more the ability that they can support scientists while still growing their cities. That's like Babylon's key strength. It's less that they, they have a science district. It's more that they can, um, they can support population and still do science without impacting their economy too much, uh, or their population count. Uh, you can get... Alright, let's make sure we lock in that um, astronomy house, and I think we're aging up next turn. Open borders with you, you're the Huns? Okay, yeah, we definitely want to be friendly with you, rather not get on the bad side of the Huns. Alright, let's get you healed up. Let's go to war with the Mycenaeans, let's do that. We declared on them for a bunch of gold, like, and we're just going to go and capture their city and they'll peace out. They only have one city, so... And we research fortifications, so I actually have citizens. And they're attacking us. Yeah, they're going to get these pro Macoy in as well. It'll be fine, though. Six swordsmen will easily handle this. Or should do. They are getting flanked, but hey. I'll just move another unit onto that tile. Let's bring you back. The Leve want nothing to do with this fight whatsoever, so... You're on a river, you need to get off that river. Uh, 
Uh, you just attack those scouts, uh, you move up there and then finish them off. Now all I need to really do is just focus on killing the Promarkoi. Yep. And that's pretty much all she wrote for the, uh... For the uh, Mycenaeans here. They are bringing more troops in, but unfortunately for them, it's not going to be enough. Can I get you around? I can. Excellent. We take that attack there. It's not a bad attack. Move you down. Finish these guys off. You take a swing there. Alright, that battle will continue next turn. But yeah, that shouldn't be too hard of a fight for us to win, because these Levy are going to just fall over against Swordsmen. Even Wounded Swordsmen will chop through them, no worries. Looks like Egypt has a few ideas of conquest. That's not going to work out so well for them. Uh, but yeah, there you go. There's 2.4k points. I could sit in this era for a little bit longer just to farm stars and, you know... Unlike the previous uh, tutorials or other tutorials, I don't have to wait. I don't have to age up just to get access to the next era's tech. I can I can keep playing, and I can just get more and more powerful. I like get siege tactics, uh, imperial power, really increase our income from trade. I can make I can siege people a lot more effectively, um, and th there's no downside to that at all. There's absolutely no downside to that. So yeah, it's that's that's the power of Babylon. Uh, you don't need an amazing start with Babylon either. Again, they're a versatile civilization, and you know, being able to just research like swordsmen from the classical is a huge boon uh, to get you ahead against the AI, at least militarily. But just in general, you will be able to uh, make quite the uh, quite the impact uh, from that sort of that sort of uh, tech group, shall we say? Uh, but there you go. Shouldn't really uh, have the uh, tutorial go any longer than that. It's already been uh, f over 45 minutes. Again, the tutorials are going to take a little bit longer, uh, especially since I want to play through the entire Ancient Era up to the point I have about 2k score, because I feel like that's a good way to show off the sort of full extent of a civilization within its era. It's been me, Chaff Commander Comping. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you've got any questions, queries, if there's anything that I forgot to uh, mention or skipped over, do let me know in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, uh, links to my Twitch in the description, links to the Discord on the YouTube About page. And uh, yeah, take it easy, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye for now.